Then it sold for $12.11 plus shipping. My biggest flip to date. All of these things can be big money. Are you picking them? Okay, so th their grandma wanted it bingo. <gasps> Paid. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this. And there is a link tree down below. And in that link tree, you will find all my links, including my Facebook group. So definitely go and um, subscribe or follow my Facebook group and share Bolo. This is what I posted. Share your best April Bolo. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. All right. So this first one comes from TN Pickers. And they got this. Let's see. This item is in my video, wow truckloads, all free bolos everywhere you look. It was all free stuff a lady wanted out of her garage. Listed for $650 because it had damage. Took a best offer of $490. It is an ESCO, I think I always say that wrong, Enchanted Watchtower Musical Clock. Wow, so it's damaged and it still sold for $490. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Um, this one comes from TN Pickers. They are a Bolo Buddies member. This is their YouTube channel. Definitely go check them out. I will have them linked down below along with their eBay store. So um, if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are members level two and higher um, on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in memberships, um, you get perks for that. So you can check that out down below. No worries if not. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for perks. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. He does a ton of retail arbitrage. He is like amazing at finding stuff retail arbitrage. What that means is he goes into like discount stores and buys things and flips them for a profit. I paid $32.99 for these. I found them at Ross. They are Adidas Farrell Williams knit shoes. They sold for $220 plus shipping. And this is what they look like. Uh, so $32.99 into $220 from a discount store. Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, Burlington Coat Factory, all those different places. Um, yeah, it's possible. That's what I used to do. I used to do a lot of RA. He found these at Ross for $24.99. Uh, they're track and field Adidas Prime shoes, and they sold for $120 plus shipping. And this is what they look like. Here's another pair. He found these at Ross for $24.99. They sold quick for $95 plus shipping on Poshmark. They are UGG fluffy sandals. So he does sell on multiple platforms. Definitely go and sub him up. Found, oh, paid. Ooh, ooh. Paid $5 for a bag of plush at the Goodwill. I need to stay over here so I can pop my screenshots up over here. Uh, paid $5 for a bag of plush at the Goodwill. So my cost was about a dollar. I could see the black and white fur crammed in the sealed and taped bag with the other plushies, but it was sealed so tight. I couldn't be sure of what it was exactly. Nice surprise when I got in home and found out what it was. It was a little spooky how real it actually was. Sold for $99. Nice bolo for me. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. You're welcome. And thank you for sharing your bolo. Um, one thing that I always say, if it is an animal that is a plush that looks realistic, put realistic in your title. Um, I've got lots of category videos that talk about plush. If you're interested in learning more about plush, definitely check those out. Plush realistic Han Hansa creation black and white tuxedo cat stuffed animal. It really does look real. Check it out. Ah, okay. This one comes from Mindful Recycle, who is a big money huge money bolo finder. Um, this is her YouTube channel. Go and sub her up. You will uh, thank me later because, oh my goodness, you're going to learn so much. 
Uh, purchased this as soon as it rolled out on the floor at the Goodwill. Was visiting my mom four hours away where I live and picked this vintage jacket up. Paid $13.50. Sold it for $149.97 and the buyer paid shipping. Rare vintage Pella Pella or Pell Pell Mark Buchanan multicolor bomber leather jacket size 42. This is what it looks like. And it even has like some fading on the shoulders. All right. Here's another one from Mindful Recycle. She is also a moderator of the Facebook group. So if you go over and watch her videos, please thank her for helping out with the Bolo Buddies Facebook group because it has over 85,000 members and it is a lot to keep track of. She said, I purchased a whole bunch of Department 56 last summer and only have a few left. Paid $10 Sold this for $325. It is a Welcome to Chinatown set of three, Department 56, Christmas in the City with Box. Um, Mindful Recycle like specializes in Department 56. I'm telling you, I, I don't know if she specializes in it, but she finds it all the time. Like it's like she's a magnet and it just like, it just attaches to her. And it's not the ones that go for 20 bucks. It's like these huge money bolos. I'm telling you, Bolo Finder. All right, another big money Bolo Finder, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. Um, she is also a moderator of the group. So same thing, go uh, tell her thank you because, oh my goodness, this group. So she said, after two solid days of estate sales, the great junk hunt, garage sales, and the bins, I stopped at one last estate sale ran by one of my favorite companies, The Rusty Trunk. And she just released a video on this. There were only a few hours left and it was $20 fill a bag. Uh, $20 fill a bag and Noelle means she's probably walking out there with a lot of stuff. 23 of these were just laying on the table untouched. Are you kidding me? I bought them all, 22 of them for 20 bucks. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger here and this is my bolo. Road and Track Magazine Calendars. I went to the last hour of an estate sale. There were 21 of them sitting on a table. It was $20 full of bag. I said, can I have all of these calendars for $20? They were like, yes. So I have 91 cents basically into each calendar. I listed them the next day, all of them. I sold one overnight with a message from the buyer asking if I had these dates. I don't know why they weren't showing up. I ended up selling him two more, so I sold three within 24 hours for $90 and four cents shipped each. And then this morning I woke up to a message from him and he asked if I would take an offer of $200 for eight more of them. Okay. He said, I noticed that they hadn't been moving. Well, they have been listed less than a month. So, but the thing is, is that ephemera does not move. You have to wait for the right person. Um, so I wrote him up a listing just for him. I told him what the shipping would be for all of them, got them packed up, made him a listing. He agreed to the price for shipping and handling of $50. Um, I made him a listing, 250 free shipping because I was shipping them through pirate ship and I didn't want any hinky stuff going on. And I sent him the listing, and an hour later, cha-ching, he paid for it. So there it is, right there. There's your bolo. Thank you so much. And Courtney, thanks for watching. Bye. You guys follow Noelle. You are definitely going to learn about things that you would walk past because she is the I would walk past it reseller, and she does amazing. Okay, this comes from The Girls Junkin'. And they were free from Senior Bingo. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Love it. Started auctions at 50. One sold for 109.09 with three bids. The next sold for 50 with two bids. And the last one sold for $81 with five bids. All the same buyer. They paid shipping. Okay. So the, their grandma wanted it bingo. <laughs> I love this. Burke Winton Vintage Twin Winton Elves figurines. What? Check it out. They're so funny. The Girls Junkin. I love that name. This next one, a fun pickup. 
of three cardboard LP carry cases. Oh man, this one, I'm like looking at it and the, the picture is making my eyes like, anyway, you'll see what I mean. Just look at it. Sold two in a matter of days for 60 each. This pattern seems to sell for the highest dollar. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The pattern kind of makes you sick to look at. Uh, paid $5 each at an estate sale. Not bad for cardboard. It is a vintage pa platter pack LP record case. Psychedelic, psychedelic, great word. Green and white heavy cardboard. And this is what it looks like. Christian, look, oh. Okay, I'm going to try this. Is it LaCroix? Christian LaCroix. I think it's LaCroix. I could be wrong. I apologize if I'm wrong. Um, you can read the title right here. Earrings got for free and sold on Mercari for $135. Um, are you selling on Mercari? If not, there is a link down below. You can get $10 to shop. I like to source on Mercari. And then if you sell $100 worth of stuff, Mercari is going to give you another $20 to shop um, if you use my referral link down below. So definitely check that out. I highly recommend selling on Mercari, but I also highly recommend shopping on Mercari. I love it. So that link is down below. Pick this up at the Goodwill for $29.99. It is a Cyrus XM Starmate boombox. Took a chance that it was working. Turns out it has a lifetime subscription to Cyrus XM. Tested channels for months before listing to make sure sub stayed active. Listed for $300 for just over a month and accepted offer for $225. Huh. Check that out. Paid $30 bucks for a boom box. Okay. This one comes from Yayo. All right. Yayo has been around the channel forever. Um, I used to do Bolo live shows. And always shared over there. Um, but I used to love saying, yayo. So I'm going to say it. Anyway, this is a Care Bear that sold for big bucks. Are you ready for this? Item was found at the Goodwill Bins. Paid around a dollar for it since um, they charge a dollar nineteen per pound. And it was less than one pound. Had it sitting in my, they call it a death pile. I call it a money pile for a couple months because it needed cleaning. Put it on auction starting at 200. Had a lot of watchers, but no bids. So I relisted it at 250. I love that logic. After about a month of relisting, I accepted a best offer of 150. Probably could have gotten more if I waited, but I'll take 150 on a dollar investment any day. It is a rare vintage blue gunned Care Bears Grumpy Bear plush stuffed animal with brown eyes. And this is what it looks like. I found this bat at our local Goodwill store for $3.99 and was absolutely shocked when I looked up comps on eBay. At first, I thought, that can't be right, but quickly put it in my buggy. I was pleasantly surprised when I posted it and found the comps were accurate. I posted it for $145 and within minutes, I had watchers. We received an offer for $125 but responded with $130. Within hours, another offer of $140 made and I gladly accepted another great bolo. It is an Easton 26 ounce LX.0 dual stamp ASA dash, I mean slash USSSA slow pitch softball something. It's cut off. Something I pass by because I don't like to ship are golf clubs, ball bats, tennis rackets, all of these things can be big money. Are you picking them up? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, this one comes from the Piedmont Pickers. This is their YouTube channel. I will have them linked down below. Definitely go and sub them up. And I will put their eBay store down there below. I picked these up yesterday at an estate sale. It was the only thing I purchased and I knew they were special. I couldn't get it, my money out fast enough when I was quoted $4. Yikes. Oh my goodness. I debated an auction and did some more research. I found one sold for $1,200 on an offer, was priced at $1,425. So I priced it the same, received a $400 offer within minutes. I bet you did $400. Um, you got to love it when those lowball offers come in right away. Then a $750 offer within a few minutes later, an hour later, $850 offer and a little bit later 
one for 500. I almost ended it and started an auction at 850. I had 1200 as my lowest acceptable buy it, um, buy it now, um, or best offer. I'm sorry. So you, when you do best offer, you have the option to set what the best is you'll take. And if anybody uh, makes an offer higher than that, it automatically accepts for you. I don't use this option. I always, um, look at my offers and decide, but a lot of people use it. It saves time basically. So, uh, 1200 as my lowest acceptable best offer price. And it sold for 1211 plus shipping. My biggest flip to date. Wow. 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 I love this. Um, four dollars wow and at an estate sale i mean so many times you think i'm not going to find anything that's big money at an estate sale because they know what they're doing right they they just know estate sale companies deal with this stuff all the time i don't know if this was a like family run estate sale or if this was an estate sale th with a company if it was a company i'm shocked that they did not catch this bakelite backgammon checkers um, Chris Lloyd, gold, butterscotch, and green. And I think it says on the side of the box something. So yeah, $1,211 plus shipping. That is amazing. Congratulations. Nice sale. Stellar Seller Sam. This is her, um, YouTube channel. My goodness. Um, she said, I thought this was a Brahmin wallet. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I thought this Brahmin wallet was fake when I found it at the Goodwill for $3. Upon further research, it was not. I put it up for auction because of its color. The lime green ones are harder to come across. Bids went to $81, sold all in for $92.95. Never heard of this brand. It's B-R-A-H-M-I-N. I may be totally saying it wrong. Probably so. But it's a little clutch wallet. How cute is that? Uh, seller, seller. I always do that. Did I say it right? Stellar Seller Sam. I keep correcting myself and I'm like, <sighs> anyway, Stellar Seller Sam, YouTube and eBay. Check her out. Hi there. So I bought this record at a Goodwill for 99 cents and took an offer of 325. Yeah, 99 cents into 325 from the Goodwill in less than two weeks. Other sold comps were closer to 500, but I was having a slow sales week, so I took the offer. Um, how many of you are experiencing slow sales? Let me know down in the comments. Seems to be going around. I know that I am, but I kind of feel like that's my fault because I have not been listing as much as I typically do. So are you having slow sales? Comment below. So this is what it looks like. Five seconds of summer vinyl exclusive limited edition picture disc vinyl. 99 cents into 325. That's pretty amazing. But I know what you're saying. There's times where if my sales are slow, I'm more inclined to take a lower offer. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Leo's Treasure. And um, Bolo Buddies members from my YouTube channel, level two and up, get a pop up of their eBay store or YouTube channel and a link down in the description. So if you're interested in becoming a Bolo Buddies member, there is a link down below. Uh, no pressure to join. My channel is completely free. Bolo Buddies memberships are for perks. Uh, Leo's Treasures. I found these Adidas men's basketball shoes at the Goodwill Bins. Average cost is about $4. I sold them for full asking price of $54.75 and the buyer paid shipping. This is what they look like. They are Adidas Derek Rose 773 basketball shoes, red, black, men's size eight and a half. This one also comes from Leo's Treasures. She said, I purchased a large bag of vintage Marks toys at an estate sale for $6. Marks is a great brand. Um, the cost of this group is about $1.30. I have others still listed and some I still need to list. This group sold for full asking price of $32.75 and the buyer paid shipping. So um, it says Indian Fort Apo Apo ooh, Apache playset figures. So they are Mark's Indian playset. So they are Mark's playset figures. And this is what they look like. Vintage Spice. Um, that is her YouTube channel. It looks like this. She sells a bunch of Mark's stuff. She is like a Mark's expert. If you want to learn about Mark's toys, definitely check her out. Here's another one from Leo's Treasures. 
I purchased a bag of 20 Budweiser lapel pins at an estate sale for $2. This is the last grouping to sell. The cost of nine pins is 90 cents. These sold for full price of $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I previously sold two other sets of these pens and I have made a total of 49 off the entire bag of pens that I bought for $2. Yeah, so these little enamel pens, you want to look them over. Some can go for more than others. Um, one of these maybe could have gone for $20. It really just depends on which one it is and how special it is. But don't pass up enamel pens. Some of them can do really, really well. I have a tendency to also put them in small lots and not look them up. Um, just for time's sake, but if you take the time, sometimes there can be a bolo hiding in those small lots. So um, I don't know if she looked them up or not. Leo's treasures, did you look those up or did you just lot those up? Let me know down in the comments. All right, this next one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds, and this is her eBay store, and she is a bolo finder. Um, purchased a giant pin lot from Donatella on a YouTube auction. I paid $62 for over 110 pins. Speaking of pins, we just talked about this in the one before. Mostly sports, airline, and military, which is my jam. Customer messaged me for a discount amount and I said I would adjust price to free shipping. It is a Pan Am rare vintage gold filled blue something pin. I think it says sapphire. Sold for um $94 with free shipping and she paid 62 for 110 pens and that was over on Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel this is what it looks like she is more on whatnot now but she is also selling small lots of jewelry over there as well um, along with individual jewelry and lots of other stuff so definitely go check out Donatella, Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel and her whatnot her whatnot is just Donatella and uh, Flippin' Hot Finds buy, buys from Donatella and um, Auctions For You. Auctions For You is another reseller YouTube channel. No, another YouTube channel that sells to resellers. So check out T Auctions For You as well. And I will link them all down below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be videos popping up here and here, one down below, and a subscribe button. So I'd love for you guys to subscribe. Let me know which bolo surprised you the most. And thanks for watching. What I asked is, what's your bolo? Where'd you get it? What'd you pay for it? And what did it sell for? Let's try that again.